So there I was, taking a snapshot of my brother-in-law. He was standing in front of drawings on a cave wall. We had been told the paintings were centuries old, and it was easy for me to imagine a band of nomadic Native Americans living, or at least summering, in this high mountain condo. The wall motif showed humans hunting a variety of hooved, ring-tailed, and horned beasts across the rocky face. And I appreciated the sanctity of what I was witnessing. But a question kept burbling up in my mind like indigestion. Why were early painters of Western art such bad artists? The warriors' hands looked like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Their feet resembled a camera tripod. The elk, deer, and moose appeared like sawhorses with mangled TV antenna. What I assumed to be bears could easily have been armadillos or abandoned tires or elephant spore on a Tanganyika airstrip. It was puzzling to me. Were there no cave painters who knew which way a leg bent or who could depict the shape of a buffalo or a foot or an antler, possibly? Was it because they were forced to use the tar and broken limb medium? Were they limited by the size of the canvas? Was the lighting always bad? It has been pointed out that realistic depiction must be learned. I guess that might be true, though it still seems to me you could raise Frederick Remington or Norman Rockwell in the wilderness, give them a piece of charcoal, stand them in front of a cave wall, and get a more accurate representation. I mean, shouldn't there be some inherent ability? The real truth probably is more shabby. The chief's daughter always fancied herself an artist, but all she could draw was stick figures. The chief decreed that no one should draw better than her, and it stuck. So the real Native American artist turned to turquoise, silver, and beadwork, and waited for Charlie Russell to come along and paint them realistically. Or is this something an art history major would know? This is Baxter Black from out there and uh, in there.